today's rainy weather. Children battling cancer in West Michigan still got the experience of a lifetime on the lakeshore this afternoon because of two local nonprofit groups. 13 on your side, Ottawa County reporter Keely Lovern has that story tonight. I've only been on a boat once and I'm really excited. Eight-year-old Kelly Nykamp was one of 15 kids and families that got the chance to ride on speedboats on Lake Michigan Friday afternoon. How was your boat ride? It was fun. An experience hosted by Shields of Hope and West Michigan Offshore for who they call their cancer warriors. Something to experience other than the hospital life that they're used to. Uh, for them to forget about cancer, forget about... Uh, the parents forget about the financial part of it. Shields of Hope is a volunteer group with an executive board made up of police, fire, and EMS, and they work to support families affected by cancer. A wonderful organization that uh, supports uh, cancer survivors uh, that are going through it and post the uh, treatment. Just a great support structure uh, for us and for the kids. And it was all thanks to another nonprofit as well, West Michigan Offshore, who donated more than just their fast boats. They are really passionate about giving back to the community, so they donate a lot of their time and money, I have a passion for voting, and uh, people to give back to the community. Throughout the weekend, West Michigan Offshore is hoping to raise up to $10,000 for Shields of Hope. Yeah, high five. And it's all to continue supporting kids like Kellen and nine-year-old Becca, who was diagnosed with a severe form of leukemia when she was just three. Uh, we thought she had uh, gone into remission, and then about a year later, she came out of remission. She's gone through a lot, and she just has been wonderful through it all. She just uh, keeps going. And for both organizations, all of the hard work they say pays off when they see the kids this excited to ride really, really fast boats. <laughs> Thank you. Reporting in Grand Haven, Keely Lovern, 13 on your side.